Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Bear Brown. Thanks for coming to my garden channel today where I'm here helping you grow something tasty. All right, in today's video, I'm going to uh, show you some tips that you can use during the growing season to help you grow some nice juicy uh, watermelon. That's one of my uh, favorite fruits. All right, so the, oh, and one other thing, if you stick around, you're gonna see some of the results from the tips that I'm showing you um, today. All right, first thing, I want to talk about how to uh, fertilize your your watermelons during the growing season. All right, know, you know at the very beginning, uh, you wanna make sure that it get a lot of nitrogen. Once you see the flowers and you see the uh, fruit starting to set on the watermelons, I like to use compost tea. And you can also use compost to put it around your plants, but if you, if the uh, watermelon plants are growing out of control, you have a lot of them, your best bet is to use compost tea. And I'm gonna show you how why I go ahead and do that. So let's go. Now I have my uh, compost tea brewing and I may uh, show you uh, a video of how I uh, get this uh, right for uh, my garden. So I like to uh, water, of course, from the bottom. So all I'm doing is getting my compost tea and putting it down at the, uh, the base of the uh, plant. I don't want to uh, water the uh, leaves and remember, if you uh, water the leaves, you can uh, risk your uh, plants um, to get a uh, disease, and I don't want that. So, so that's one tip that I try to stick by: water the uh, base of the uh, plant so that I limit the amount of water getting on the leaves to make sure that I have a healthy, healthy uh, plant so it can produce some great watermelons. So I'll finish that up a little later. I'm gonna show you my next tip that I want you to uh, be aware of. And I think I actually got one on here. All right, now you see my uh, leaves are turning colors. Now the reason why they are turning colors, now that happens for some because of wilt, but there are actually uh, bugs on it. So I'm gonna try to show you real close. I don't know if you can uh, see where right my finger is. There's a a bug right here and that is the uh, squash bug he's about behind the leaf right there all right there you go right there i can't stand these squash bugs but i know in the uh couple days ago there were some uh bugs the uh, bugs hatched and so they were all around this area sucking the sap out of the plant and there's another one back here that I'm gonna deal with. It's, uh, a real, um, it's orange where my finger is. If you need to uh, make sure that you check under the leaves to make sure that there are not uh, any uh, eggs, cause they are, you can take them and smush them or you can cut the leaves off. All right, so I'm gonna clean that area up, but that's another tip because if they suck all the sap out of your plants, then your plant's not gonna have any energy to, uh, to produce the uh, nice fruit that we want. So make sure you look for the uh, the bugs. All right, now this tip right here is a uh, is a game changer. Oh yes, it is. I'm gonna get my pruners and let me show you what I'm gonna do. And if you've seen my other video, you may have seen me talk about it, but I'm gonna show you some proof why this works. All right, so if you look, I have a uh, a little watermelon right here on the vine but if you look down there are there is another watermelon right here all right and i just saw the bee go on the top of the flower so i'm pretty sure it's going to uh produce another watermelon it's not gonna fall off but since i have two there i never let that happen so i take my uh pruners and I'm gonna cut it back all the way to this uh, bigger watermelon that's right here. And I didn't used to do this, but I found that it's uh, very beneficial. So clip. Now, all the energy that is that went to uh, this uh, vine and the other watermelon is now going here. All right. So that's the uh, first thing. All right, and I believe on the same vine, 
I have a uh, sucker and I don't want to knock my watermelon over. All right, so if you look, this is the main vine right here that that watermelon is on. And I see that there is another vine coming off of it. Hold tight. It's right here. All right, that's the main vine. Here is the suckers is branching off from it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pruners and I'm going to cut it. Just like that song, remember? You got to cut it. Uh, all right, so now I just took off a sucker and I took off an, another watermelon that was gonna take the energy and now all the leaves that's off of it too, all that energy is going to my watermelon. All right, so that tip is going to help you. And like I said, it was uh, it took me years before I decided to do that because I'm like, shoot, I got this, I got two watermelons on a vine, so that means I got more watermelons. But then I noticed that my watermelons have been getting real small and then they didn't grow all the way. So I said, hey, I got, I got to try something else. And so that's what I did. So let me go ahead and show you um, some of the uh, other watermelons that I did that to when they were small. And I just recently did this and they start, they are starting to balloon up. All right, so if you look, I clipped this. Now the size of it, all the energy that was going to the other melons, going to this one. Same thing with this one. I clipped it right here. Now look at the size and it's gonna get bigger and bigger. And now there are some that I can't get to. So I'm not gonna be able to do that because I don't want to uh, step on the uh, other plants and then damage my other uh, watermelons. All right, now I'm about to go ahead and show you the, uh, the evidence. Now that was a little bit of evidence. I'm gonna show you some more evidence. Well, I'm gonna do one more because I see another one that I got to uh, cut. All right, so you see that watermelon right there? The rest of the vine is here. I don't want the energy going there. So I'm gonna clip it. it like I said, it was painful, but it is well worth it. Now, let me go ahead and show you the proof. So you need to go ahead and get your, uh, your pruner, your shears ready and go to work. All right, if you check, if you see that, I got a watermelon there. I had to go to the backside, but look at this giant. All right, I got other watermelons, but I'm gonna go back to the giant. All right. Now, I'm gonna bring you in close. All the strategies that, that I showed you, you see I clipped this end right here, and I got this big, humongous watermelon on a watch. Look at the basketball. That is two times the size of the basketball. Like I said, I wish you were here to see how big this, this joker is, but it's humongous. All right, now it is almost time for that watermelon to uh, be harvested, but I'ma wait, like it's, it's, it's been raining for a couple days, and I want to uh, pull the watermelon once I don't have that much range because I'm trying to make the uh, watermelon sweeten up when it dries out. Now the uh, mulch is going to keep it moist, but I'm still going to wait until it stops raining and uh, for a couple days before I pull that. And if you want to uh, see me harvest it, just drop me a line in the comments, let me know and make sure you subscribe so you can see some of these, some more uh, content just like this. And also, the uh going back to the mulch the mulch is going to help you with your watering you want to make sure that your uh plants get enough water now i'm not going to tell you how how often the water because your climate is different from mine before i had these wood chips i used to water at least twice a week and i had it on a drip irrigation system but i have since then removed my drip irrigation but i may think about uh adding that or adding uh some uh, drip tape so that I can water my melons when we have a long, long drought. But these tips will help you get watermelons just like this. And trust me, I have a couple more watermelons 
as well. But just uh, use these tips and it should help. All right, thanks a lot. Bear Brown, bye.